Hey everyone, Windows 10 support is ending and many of you are wondering how to get Windows 11 on your older PC, especially those that don't meet Microsoft's strict hardware requirements. Well, uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you the safest and most reliable way to upgrade your Windows 10 machine to the latest Windows 11 version 25 H2 even if it's unsupported, we'll use the official Microsoft ISO file so you're not downloading shady software. Let's get started. First, let's check what version of Windows we're currently running. you should see your Windows 10 version details. This just helps confirm your upgrading from Windows 10. Next thing you have to do is make sure your Windows is up to date. All updates must be installed. I have quite a number of updates to install. Let me do that. Also install the optional quality update and make sure they get the latest updates as soon as they are available. It is turned on when you start to check for updates. You can check if your Windows 10 meets the Windows 11 requirements Let's briefly go over the main requirements for Windows 11. These include a supported CPU, at least four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage, and support for TPM 2.0 and secure boot. Meeting these requirements helps ensure that Windows 11 runs smoothly and securely. This PC meets all the requirements, but I will show you two methods installing on a PC that meets all requirements and installing on one that does not. Sometimes, after a moment after updating your Windows 10 on a system that meets all the requirements, you should see the option to download and install Windows 11 version 25 H2 on mine. It is not showing, so We'll just download the ISO image. And also, if you want to keep using Windows 10 and receive updates, you can enroll in the extended program. We'll need the Windows 11 25 H2 ISO file. Visit Microsoft's official download page and grab the Windows 11 disk image. After the download is complete, mount the ISO. All you need to do on a system that meets all requirements is to click on the setup.exe file and the installation process will start.
if you have you know a slow or metered internet connection or if you just want to speed up the installation you can choose to skip downloading updates for now once windows is installed you can install those updates later through windows update Now let us look on how to install on an unsupported PC that is one that does not meet all the requirements. First, create a desktop uh, shortcut of the setup file. Right, click on the shortcut and go to Properties. In the target field, add a space at the end of the existing path and then type slash product server. The final path should look something like this. The drive letter may be different from mine. You are now ready to run the modified setup. Double click the shortcut you just created. The Windows 11 setup will begin, but this time it will run without performing the normal hardware checks. But you will notice something odd during the installation process. It says it's installing Windows Server. Don't panic. This is a completely normal part of the workaround and is actually a good sign that it is working. As you can see, we are now on Windows 1125H2. You can revert back to Windows 10 if you want. Just go to recovery. So that's how you upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 1125H2, even on unsupported PCs. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like subscribe and turn on notifications for more Windows 11 tips and tutorials.